gender genetics. When a man and a woman become pregnant, they often wonder if the baby will be a boy or a girl. Just like all traits, gender is determined by inherited genes from the mother and the father. Every woman in the world has the same set of genes for gender. Women have the sex chromosomes X, X. Men have sex chromosomes as well, but the chromosomes are different. Men have the sex chromosomes X, Y. So, if your sex chromosomes are X, X, that means that you are a female. If your sex chromosomes are XY, that means that you are a male. During reproduction, each parent donates one allele or letter to their offspring. The only gene that a mother can give is the X chromosome. A father can give the baby either an X or a Y. So, if the baby inherits an X from the mother and an X from the father, the baby will be a female. If the baby inherits an X from the mother and a Y from the father, the baby will be a boy. A Punnett square can be used to predict how often a couple will have a boy and how often a couple will have a girl. If you set up a Punnett square with the father on the top, use an X and a Y as his genes. With the mother on the side of the Punnett square, we use the letters X, X to show her gender. Next, complete the Punnett square. When you finish the Punnett square, you see that two out of four times people reproduce, the offspring will be a male. Or 50% of the time, the baby will be a boy. Also, two out of four times humans reproduce, the baby will be a girl. Or 50% of the time you reproduce, you will have a female. So, if you know someone who's having a baby and they ask you if it's a boy or a girl, flip a coin and tell them they have a 50-50 chance of either. Gender Genetics